Hello, in this video we're going to learn how to factor non-simple trinomials using the AC method. Now if a trinomial has a coefficient of the squared term as 1, in this case a would be 1, then it's a simple trinomial and we don't need to use the AC method. You can just probably factor it by inspection. But if a is something other than 1, then it's best to use the AC method. And the AC method is pretty interesting in that you can solve it using a very um, specific technique. So for example, you could find AC, which is multiplying A times C, and then factor it, listing all the factor pairs. Then you can find the factor pair that adds up to B, and then you use that factor pair to break up the BX term so that you have a four-term polynomial, or a quadrinomial. Once you have a quadrinomial, you could factor it by grouping and then you're done. Now you should always check, check the final answer using FOIL. So let's actually try some problems. Our first problem, 5y squared plus 12y plus 4, here AC is going to be 5 times 4, so AC is 20. So let's write that down. AC equals 20, or a positive 20. And now we're going to list all the factor pairs of 20. So that's 1 times 20, or 2 times 10, or 4 times 5. Now I hope you see this thing wraps around. I'm not going to write 5 times 4 again. But one consideration is these are all positive factors. You could also have negative 1 times negative 20, negative 2 times negative 10, and negative 4 times negative 5. You could actually list those. But in this trinomial, we see that the 12y is a positive 12y. So we're not going to list any of the, any of the, negative, uh, the negative factors. So now we're going to do the next step, which is to find which pair adds up to a positive 12. And that's this, this, uh, this middle section right here. So what I like to do is I like to actually use the variable, in this case y, and use signs. So for example, we're going to put a plus 2y plus 10y. Now again, from our instructions, we're going to break up this middle term using uh, this factor pair. So here's 5y squared. So we just recopy it. 5y squared plus 2y plus 10y plus 4. So I hope you see that we have broken this 12y down into 2y plus 10y because we know 2y plus 10y does equal 12y. So we haven't really written a, a new polynomial. It's the same polynomial. It just is written as four terms. And now we're going to factor by grouping. Factor by grouping says that we take the GCF of the first two terms. In this case, it is y. y times the binomial 5y plus 2. And then we find the GCF of the last two terms. In this case, it is a positive 2 times the quantity 5y plus 2. And then the last step is to rewrite this as a pair of binomials, the product of binomials. The first binomial is y plus 2 times the quantity 5y plus 2. And that is our final answer. Now, we can check this by grouping. I'm sorry, by using FOIL, y times 5y is 5y squared, y times 2 is 2y, hold that in your mind, 5y times 2 is 10y, 10y plus 2y is 12y, and then lastly 2 times 2 is 4. So our answer does check out using FOIL. Let's take a look at, a, at one that has a, a minus sign in it, just so we can make sure that we're keeping track of all the possibilities. Here the b term is a negative 15, negative 15y. So let's start off with ac, and again ac means we just simply multiply a times c, and I like to write ac equals, just to make sure we know where that 14 came from. Now it's a positive 14, so we're going to say 1 times 14, or 2 times 7, and that's really all the factor pairs there are. But we're going to have factor pairs that have to add up to a negative 15. And the only way we're going to do that is by having factor pairs that are negative. 
So I'm just going to write negative signs. Negative 1 times negative 14 is a positive 14. And now the question is, which one of these factor pairs adds up to negative 15? It's the first factor pair, negative 1 and negative 14. So let's come in here and write in our variable, negative 1y minus 14y. And now we're going to rewrite this trinomial using these terms. 2y squared minus 1y minus 14y plus 7. Now you may say, why did I write the minus 1y? Why, did I, why didn't I not just write minus 1? I'm sorry, minus y. And the reason why is it's a, it's a good visual when we do our factoring by grouping. It's just a nice, uh, a nice visual to have. So now let's use factoring by grouping. The GCF of the first two terms is y, y times the quantity 2y minus 1. And the GCF of the last two terms will either be a plus 7 or a minus 7. And you'll find that if you factor out a plus 7, this first term is negative. So let's factor out a negative 7 so that we're left with the quantity 2y minus 1. Now remember when factoring by grouping, both these binomials have to match up. If the binomials don't match up, then you have not factored by grouping correctly. And we're left with the binomials y minus 7 times the quantity 2y minus 1. And that is our final answer. I'll leave it up to you to uh, check that using FOIL. Our third example has a couple of minus signs. We have a minus sign in front of the b term, but this time we have a minus sign in front of the c term as well. So we're going to factor this using the AC method. Again, I like to write AC. In this case, AC is negative 15 negative 15, which means we're going to have a positive number and a negative number. I like that we start with 1, 1 times negative 15, 3 times negative 5, and now it's going to start to wrap around, but here we have a positive 5 times a negative 3, and then lastly a positive 15 times a negative 1. And now we're going to search for the factor pair that leads us to uh, a sum of negative 2. And which one of these has a sum of negative 2? It's this second factor pair, a 3 and a negative 5. So let's insert this x term. This is a positive 3x, and this will be a minus 5x. That's how we break up this middle term using um, making a quadrinomial. So let's rewrite this trinomial as a quadrinomial. 3x squared plus 3x minus 5x minus 5. Again, this middle term was broken up based on the factor pairs. And now we're going to factor by grouping. The GCF of the first two terms is 3x times the quantity x plus 1. The GCF of the last two terms is a negative 5 times the quantity x plus 1. And rewriting this as a product of binomials, we have the quantity 3x minus 5 times the quantity x plus 1. And that is our final answer. Now let's do one more. In this one, we have an interesting pattern with our variables. We have an x squared, an xy, and a y squared. I hope you see that this problem will result in something generically that looks like this. We're going to have an x term, we're going to have a y term, and both binomials are going to have an x and a y term. So there may be a number in front of the x, the, their value in front of the y may be positive or negative, the second binomial may have a coefficient in front of x, and then something in front of the y. But if you multiply this out using FOIL, FOIL, x times x is f, um, f of FOIL, so that's an x squared, and then we have an x times y, that's going to give us an xy, that's O of FOIL, I of FOIL, X times Y again, and then lastly L of FOIL, Y times Y, that gives us a Y squared. So our, our final answer is going to have this, this structure of X and Y. So let's use uh, the AC method here. AC, in this case, is 2 times negative 9, which is a negative 18. 
and let's factor negative 18. I like to start with a 1. 1 times negative 18. 2 times negative 9. 3 times negative 6. 6 times negative 3. 9 times negative 2. And lastly, 18 times negative 1. Once you've done the AC method a bunch of times, you don't necessarily have to write this entire list, but I find it very helpful just as a good visual. Now, we're going to pick the factor pair that adds up to a positive 3, and that's positive 6 and a minus 3. So I'm going to come in here with my, with my pen and fill in the variables. Again, this is a plus 3xy, so we want this to come from a plus 6xy minus 3xy. So now let's rewrite this trinomial. 2x squared plus 6xy minus 3xy minus 9y squared. And now we just factor by grouping. The GCF is 2x of the first two terms. 2x times x plus 3y. The GCF of the last two terms would be a negative 3y. Negative 3y times a positive x and a negative 3y times a positive 3y. And now we're going to finish factoring by grouping by writing the two binomials. 2x minus 3y times the quantity x plus 3y. And this is our final answer. And we can check this by using FOIL. And that's it.